Hello everyone and welcome to another Synerstack tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about auditing in Synerstack where we use the reports functions to look at the things that have been going on within your tenant folder structure and what the users are doing and uh, what files are being manipulated, things like that. So first we log in as a tenant administrator. We go to the dashboard and we choose reports. Now under the reports section we have a series of tabbed views here. The first one is upload report and um, as you can see this covers files uploaded in the last 30 days, files uploaded in the last week, files uploaded in the last 24 hours, and files uploaded in the last 60 minutes. On to storage statistics where we can see the total number of files uh, folders, uh, file size, average file size, and the size distribution. We also see the types of files and uh, the users who use the most storage. So, you know, if somebody's um, using most of your storage, this will identify that individual, and then you can um, either expand the amount of storage available or uh, limit that storage use to meet your needs. Okay, then we have the team folders. In this case, we have the My Shared Files folder and the Pictures folder. It also shows what users have access and what their permissions are on those folders. Okay, so we're going to go to Shared Objects. Under Shared Objects, uh, any files that you have shared with email accounts so that they can get access to those files, that shows that here. Also shows the expiration time on those files. We have Audit Trace. We can search by various categories. So I'm going to go with User Email in the last five days. And let's just type in um, Domain. And then anything with the word Domain in it, like jdo at domain.com, will show up. And it shows um, all this useful information, which can be sorted, you know, by various things in various columns. Then we can go to uh, another possibility like say action and um, publish team folder is one of the actions. We have a lot of actions available to us here. So um, in the last five days somebody performing the action of publishing a team folder it shows all of that activity when it occurred uh, once again, you can sort by uh, time or server time, user email, the action that was taken. It's very useful for uh, determining what activity is going on. Now let's go to file change logging. This says uh, user email in the last five days. Um, let's uh, search by action. Let's see. This is great because uh, if anybody's added comments, then you can just jump over here and look at the report on those comments and see what um, what's going on with various files. Uh, we can search by other things as well. So let's say um, set permission. We'll just do a search. So we could see that, that a set permission was done on this day by this person. We We could go with create folder we'll do a search you can see all these folders were created when that happened as you can see center stack uh, gives you reports that allow you to monitor and sort through all of the activity that's taken place on your server thank you I uh, hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next tutorial